Today I want to talk about risk, why you should be taking it, but doing it smartly. Hey everybody, I want to share a personal story as always. I'm about to take, a, I would say, a big risk tomorrow, and uh, but I'm very, very excited about this risk. So as I shared with you, I'm taking on a new project, project with the budget was limited, but the concession that I got the client to do was to be fully transparent and allow me to photograph and document the whole process. And so I've hired an excellent top cinematographer, videographer who's going to come in, shoot everything that we do, the whole branding and web development project, and um, yeah, bring you along, create an amazing production out of this. So I'm actually not about to make any money almost from this project because I will be paying uh, the photographer, editor, you know, the offices and, and a lot of expenses um, to make this production come true. But I have a very, very strong gut feeling that this is going to be amazing. Um, and I don't know how this will pay off, but I'm kind of sh passionate as much as I was when I started this YouTube channel that nobody's doing this in design YouTube and I want to do this. I think this is very important and it will be awesome content. And so I'm very, very excited about this, even though, again, fearing the risk of both, you know, putting myself out there, showing how I work, showing my client in real time, and also financially, you know, working on a project um, for a month or six weeks without, you know, making a lot of money. So that's another risk that I should be considering. And uh, I'm trying to plan this out and make sure that I don't do anything disastrous. Right now, I'm actually fortunate that I have kind of the income coming from the Webflow Masterclass, which is, has been very successful. And so I can afford myself to take this risk, I would say, responsibly and not put my, my business and my family at risk. But it still is a risk. Now, some of the risks that you take sometimes backlash. For example, last week I, I took kind of a risk while doing the Black Friday sale for the Webflow Masterclass. I didn't know if to do this first. I did a poll on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to do that because there's awesome content and polls there. Anybody, people voted that they want the discount and I did this risking the fact that some of the people who have purchased full price might be upset about this which did happen some people got upset and so you know any every risk has the two sides i mean i think the sale was super successful but also i did piss some people off i guess and i had to make it right with them because i want everybody to be happy so that's something that you should consider um i think i tried to consider that before doing but um yeah it happens anyway when I'm taking risks, I always, as I said before, try to do this responsibly by doing kind of like thinking about best case scenario, average scenario, and worst case scenario, and try to outline what's going to happen in either one of those cases. And if the worst case scenario is feasible, if I can make this work, or I can somehow make the worst case scenario okay, not like totally disastrous, then I take this risk and actually doing the Webflow Masterclass itself, like creating the course was a risk that I did because for three months I fired all of my clients beside one and it was a huge risk that, you know, if the Masterclass is not going to pan out, you know, I'm going to be uh, <laughs> But it did work out well and so now I'm happy now I have that and I'm back on client work, which again, I can do, you know, I can take project even if they're not super profitable just because I want to share them with you and so I'm kind of betting on what I see is working and hopefully you know that that will work out in the long term but I think in anything that you do business wise design wise every project that you do I once had read uh, an article by James Altucher which I think I recommend a lot when it comes to writing but he had this tip for writing like if you're not afraid when you click the publish button then it pro you probably didn't take enough risk and you should put more heart into it and I think that's true for everything that you do like business decision design project if you're not a little bit afraid of what the client might say maybe you haven't pushed hard enough so think about that have an awesome day tomorrow again super excited about actually doing starting this video series um, not sure when the video will be published because the editor will take some time to publish it but uh, vlogging schedule will be uh, normal like daily but uh, hopefully I can publish the video from tomorrow super soon talk to you soon